Oh, I'm sorry. Damn, boy. Come <laughs> out in my damn kitchen. Gentlemen, are you ready? <laughs> we done started. You are? Well, I haven't been here until now. Whose fault is that? What is all this? I still look good earlier. I will take a piece of this. Here. Pork. Check out the spare rib. Mm-hmm. And that's your beef. Mmm. Nice. Well, folks, that's a snack on while I'm waiting. Doug thinks he's gonna win? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Taste it. Homie barbecue? Wow. I'll try it too. Pretty good. That's really it's, good, Dad. Lauren, come try it. Oh, shit. That's good. Homie barbecue. Hmm, that's pretty good. That is so <laughs> really good. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Doug means business, folks. Oh, God. His son. Guys. Shouldn't they like the touch, barbecue cook-off? Touch oven mitts. That's what I was hoping, Dad, no yeah. left. So, Doug, you think the secret to your success is going to be the coals? Oh, yeah. I don't know, man. Dad does this thing slow and slow on his, so... I think it's going to light, Doug. I think it'll be all right. Whoa! Dad, He's put all the walls. Yeah, Grandpa's already cooked some. This is a cook-off. I'll be honest, I was expecting a little more dramaticism yeah, yeah. than that. That was a little lackluster. Oh, that's what I was expecting. <laughs> Whoa. Fire. Fire. <laughs> Doug's gonna just throw his chicken in that. <laughs> it's just <laughs> I like that butter bean bandana you got going there. Yeah, this is exactly what I was expecting, Doug. Oh god, that's like me when I'm really cooking regular chicken. <laughs> <laughs> God. Bernie, turn him. Charles, what did I tell you about cooking pizza? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is with me and pizza, man. I just... Doug's like, oh, hell. <laughs> Ooh, I smell something. Dad, level of 1 to 10, how burnt do you think it's going to be? 10. <laughs> the heat is on. <laughs> Doug, where'd you get your refrigerator to cook in? <laughs> My refrigerator? I cook in this every night. How's your refrigerator though? That's right. How'd you convert it? That's all. It's also his heater. Yep. Actually. Furnace. <laughs> what are you Doug, doing? Doug. Yeah, man. Why I brush it? Uh-uh. Let me do something you get in the song. Whatever. I don't know what you put on there anyway. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Is that a coffin? <laughs> it's going to be. It's, it's either a coffin or a crematorium. Yeah. Either way, there's going to be something burning inside it. I don't know. I think it's going to be good. You're just trying to make sure everyone's not jumping on your dad. It's true. That would be good. Better than that. I please. This is this is the way here, boy. That's the truth. That. This is modern. You're back in the stone days. People still say that you can taste a difference between Charles. I don't you taste can. no difference. You can. I can't. It tastes like cooked chicken to me. Michael, we have to be fair judges. I think, I think we should know what we're eating. What does that mean? I think it should be a surprise. Like we should. Please. What are you gonna do with a leaf blower? Blow leaves. Are you guys, we're trying the first piece of barbecue from Grandpa. 
This is a barbecue <laughs> spare rib, bro. Joe hug. Oh my god. I'm Dad didn't make ribs, so that's. So what? They're both making chicken, though. This is freaking. I, I know, it's amazing. Guys. I ain't gonna lie. This is now the best thing Dad makes. <laughs> You ain't tried it yet. You know it's And there's good, only Dad. a few, so I don't want you to. I want them off of me. <laughs> I think he gave me more chicken than he's cooking. Oh? Mm-hmm. So what is this? This is how you seal the chicken. Huh. Okay. So what should we call this? Doug's famous chicken? You can call that, yeah. <laughs> It'll work. I tried the sauce. It was it was really good. Well, I was up till three o'clock this morning cooking, making that up. <laughs> That's why I was so late getting here. So what's that? This is chicken rub. Huh? You taste it? Mm, no. Put your finger in it. Huh. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. So do you think you're going to win? I don't know. Depends on <laughs> if he sabotaged my chicken. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder. Why would you think that? Because he hauled ass outside. <gasps> what if he's doing something to your grill? Ain't much he could do to the grill. Okay. So do you think Dad has a chance? Yeah, of course he does. Everybody got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it looks pretty good so far. I think chicken's chicken. <laughs> Alright, so you guys saw Doug preparing his chicken. Now he's going to smoke it. Nope. Now he's going to barbecue it, whatever. As long as it's getting cooked to consumption. Dad thinks your dad sabotaged chicken. <laughs> what? How the hell did I do that? <laughs> You're gonna start some. <laughs> I'll come here and piss on your parade. <laughs> piss on his chicken. I'll piss on your chicken. <laughs> That's what you did, didn't you? That's oh why I was in gosh. a bowl. <laughs> Doug, it's fair game. Doug also was trying to pretend like your barbecue. If doesn't... you'd have been here on time, you wouldn't have had to worry about that. Oh. I was here on time. You were three hours freaking you, late. You told Bridget last night, 10 in the morning, you oh were going to be gosh. here. Oh, my gosh. Hey, oh. Dad. Huh? If I had to take a guess, I'd say we're eating Doug's chicken with a dipstick. Yeah. <laughs> Changing oil. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be ashes. Where's the toe tag? Hey! Look at that, wait. You almost done, baby. Ain't no beans burning on the grill here. It doesn't burn in here. I don't know, mine. man. It might be, though. I don't know. Oh, that's smoke. <laughs> Doug, my dad's already got a lung problem, okay? You don't need all breathing all this smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Doug ain't having it. <laughs> don't worry, Doug. I don't think anybody's going to be having any of your chicken, either. That's a joke. We have to have it. What are you doing? Look over my tongs. Get over there. Get over. I just had them. Weird. I think somebody's sabotaging me. <laughs> I, I mean, I doubt Grandpa had your tongs. <laughs> Oh, Doug had to look out the window. Yes. Yes. Let's see what he's Doug, doing. Doug, you had them. He's not doing anything, Dad. <laughs> Maybe they're outside and you just don't realize it. Maybe. I could have swore I brought him in here and rinsed them off. Bridget, he's like trying to create a conspiracy. Yeah, man. I don't think Grandpa did that. I think he's trying to be Look fair. Look at that. He's playing with me now. Michael didn't do it. Hey, Doug, you check the trash can? <laughs> hey. <laughs> he's, jo <laughs> he's joking. 
joking. <laughs> and it does look that. <laughs> He's joking. Did you check your butt? <laughs> Someone cover the lens and find these things. Oh, this is looking good, Dad. You really are that's burnt duck. Crispy critters. Please. I'm not paying no attention. He's speaking out of fear. I ain't paying no attention. <laughs> We're gonna judge, uh, you know, it's gonna be impartial judging, but I'm telling you now, I'm voting for dad. <laughs> not really, but seriously, look at this chicken fuck. Let that break. Kent, I was talking about. Right there. What's he talking about? Don't pay him no attention, Dad. <laughs> I'm not paying no attention. Just cook your chicken. Dad, show your chicken. <laughs> yeah, right now, right now it's still in the smoldering coal phase. Yeah, that's right. It needs to be dust. <laughs> you know we're joking, right, Doug? Oh yeah. I gotta give it to Dad, boy. He's trying. Remember you used to cook the chicken for all like the family birthday parties and stuff? Yeah. And you would burn everything? Everything. Like, seriously. Dad would just be like sitting like 40 feet away from the damn grill, smoking, chatting it up. There's like flames behind him. <laughs> yeah, man, that was a good TV show. Like, you see that new episode of The Simpsons? <laughs> wow. How's it coming, Doug? It's coming. <laughs> I'll give it to you. It looks pretty good. Both of them look good, though. Yeah, both look really good. You both have made a successful barbecued chicken. Man. We need to have them compete more often. More often, yeah. <laughs> I know. I'll judge every time. I know, right? We're the real winners here. Oh, yeah. How long is it going to take Doug's chicken? Okay. You do it all damn, I've done it. I know, it's cooking like eight hours. You know, everyone look at that fish hat, there's more and more damn fish in there. What? <laughs> what? We start off with seven. What? Seven? Man. Are they like giving birth? <laughs> well, I was, I'm not in that conception. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I swear, every time I look, there's more and more fish in there. But how can they all look so different? Oh. So do fish not look like their parents? Not necessarily. Must have been a rough Saturday night. <laughs> this is the, this is how you can tell we're bored waiting on Doug. <laughs> Leave right, my dad alone. Right there. Those are how we started off with. And then on top, the ladder. They just like created from the water. Yeah. All of a sudden, there's fish. Well, no, they do it like everybody else. That's I wasn't suggesting. Okay. <laughs> do you know how to conceive? Not yet. Been trying. Can't help it, bro. <laughs> I didn't think so. My dad's like, come on, Mike, you can do it. I'm <laughs> trying! I'll be a cheer squad. <laughs> oh, come on, you can do better than that, Mike. <laughs> Bridget, hold on, we gotta see the Look at his shoes. What are my shoes? No, this is awesome. You're wearing Superman shoes. <laughs> well, that's what I'm Superman. Well, who's that? Is that Doug coming? Yeah, well, he thinks he's Superman. Oh, he finally arrived! Wow! See, it's going to be kind of unfair because Doug's is going to be hot and moist. It's not unfair. And Dad's has sat out for about 20 minutes. Not even. And his going to look no different than mine. They look pretty good, though. Oh, uh, yeah. They look yeah. good. Dad's look good, too. <laughs> Just see the face. He's getting mad. I'm not getting mad. I give, it's a, I give a damn. It's a cook-off. Yeah, it's a cook-off. Well, wow. I guess we should plate a piece of chicken apiece and judge. All right, taste test number one. I don't know which is which. We're not sure. They look exactly alike. So this is going to come down to flavor. Eat the thing! Okay, I thought you wanted me to judge this thing. Oh, it's hot. Okay. Mmm. Mmm, pretty good. Extra hot. I'm assuming that's Doug because it's so extra hot. Ha! Ah! 
Careful, Michael. It's hot. I can tell, Doug. <laughs> Real warm, Doug. <laughs> My vote's for this one. Dad's. Yeah! <laughs> I can taste the um, dressing in it. I like it. It's good. Right. It's close. I'm not going to say it's not close. Because that's some good ass chicken, actually. But I like the salt in this one more. So, one vote. Yeah, I assume that was yours. Um, I can tell the seasoning was good. So, thank you. One vote. Grandpa. Now it's time for one more. <laughs> All right, Bridget now has both pieces. Here we go. Chicken piece number one. Man, eat it with your hands. It's hot. Oh, just grab it. Why try Febreze Car? Febreze starts just right and stays just right for 40 days. Febreze Car. Swiffer Sweeper Dry Cloths grab dust and hair and lock it away. Better than a broom. Love it or your money back. It's good. That's really good. Very good. Now piece number two. They're both so good. Guys, it's close. I'm gonna go with my dad. Oh, what? Go over with dad, snow with dad. Doug. We tied. We it need, is so We good. need a tiebreaker. Lauren? Lauren. Will you eat already? Oh. This is the tiebreaker. Whoever gets this wins. Piece number one, how is it? That's pretty good. That one's pretty good too. They're both good chicken. Who's, yeah, who's those are the so best? Bad. I didn't know what call it a tie. Dad don't want the answer. <laughs> I don't care about the answer. Lauren, piece one or piece two? Uh, don't I have to go with number one? Dad wins! <laughs> oh, I still say this is really, really, really close. I still say it was a tie. <laughs> it was definitely a tie. I, yeah, I think it was a we tie. Tied. It's just so good. Welcome to Cooking with Grandpa today! Man, today, I swear, we're gonna cook today. You no. Know, I cannot wait to get started. Mike, are you ready? What the hell was that? Roseanne's coming back and... No. <laughs> Welcome to Cooking with Grandpa. Today we're making loose meat sandwiches and reg... Okay, try not to remember anything. Just say it. I ain't gotta remember it. Let's just cook. We gotta have an intro. Why? Oh, we can do... They, they can't eat the intro. Guys, today... Turn that back on me! Today's the day we're making loose meat sandwiches in recognition of Roseanne coming back to ABC. Is that better? What? Turn off the damn music! Are we gonna cook or we gonna listen to music? How did you even know I was gonna put music there? Well, then let's just dance, we're gonna listen to music. Why are we cooking? What are we doing? We're cooking loose meat sandwiches. Then turn the damn music off. It's been off. Then let's cook. All right, you guys, the first step is mince the onions. I guess. You gotta plug it in, maybe? That would help. Oh, stop. You gotta back in there. Alright, so just let it heat it's up. It's ready! You gotta let it heat up? I said it's ready! Who's cooking this? Go ahead. Oh, maybe. No, you're ready! Maybe he was right. right. Oh, my God. What if it's Roseanne? It ain't Roseanne. What if it is though? It ain't! It might be though! Not that it enough. could totally be with her. Shut up! We gave her your number earlier. This girl. Told you it wasn't Roseanne. Alright, then. We just go lightly cover the bottom of the pan with salt. 
Now, the garlic. Tablespoon of garlic. All right, we're doing two tablespoons of vinegar, cider vinegar. Three Worcestershire sauce, everybody. Yep. And pull. Now, we gotta let it all cook together now. Is this thing even on? Yes, it's on. Nope. When it came out. Oh, jeez. Shut up! Man, I'm getting tired of all this squishing. I know, but you gotta keep doing it. Maybe I, maybe I won't do it. Maybe that'd be good enough for me. It's not good enough. It's not loose meat. What are you doing? Walk it away! Yeah, get your hands out of my pot. You gotta have it right, Dad. Boy, tear it up now! How did Roseanne do this? She didn't. It was a prop. Roseanne made them. It was a prop. She sold them to a restaurant. Dad, it wasn't a real restaurant, though. Okay. Huh? She did too. Dad, you know it was a TV show. Like, I'm starting to worry about you. You know, I, I'm about done up. Dad, you gotta keep doing it. Oh, that was not in the recipe. That wasn't the recipe. You didn't read it. The next step is we are steaming the bun. That's the... right. You guys gotta see how we steam in these buns. Don't be making fun of my steamer. <laughs> I gotta show it. Don't be making fun of my steamer. So he's got a pot with water in it. With a strainer and a bowl. Quit making fun of that engine! What? Quit making fun of my steamer! I, it's the bowl that you broke a hole into for the steamer. Steve, you gotta get those somewhere. <laughs> you know, Dad. What? I'm no genius or anything. You're right, you ain't. And, but I think that's gotta be turned on if you want them to steam. But I ain't ready for them to do it yet! So you just got them like sitting in there? Can I brown the meat for Yeah? Well, I get the knee pad! Then I turn the steam on. Calm down, bro. Okay, I get it. I was just making sure. You, mean, you just kind of harassed me. I was seeing if it was steaming, Dad. You know, because it's just. Go so away, God! Michael! I did it. Ah! Hey! Let's go, Bridget. I'm leaving. Bye! Wrong door. Bye! The next step, you guys. How do you going to steam you? Don't leave them alone. What? Leave them alone. They got steam. We're steaming the buns. They're not going to steam if you steam I it. stopped touching it. I'm just. We're steaming the buns, folks. We put the cheese on the top of that one. All right, you guys, it's taste test time. Yeah, I can't tell you if it's gonna taste like the rosé roast loose meat or not, because that doesn't exist. Hey, Dad, we got your hand. Guys, loose meat soap. Where did you get the yellow paper from? Hey, my, my baby, baby, where's the yellow paper? I got him yellow paper, where's the sandwich? Just like Landry. McDonald's. Hey, no bullshit, don't be on that. Don't be on that, don't be on You got the paper from McDonald's? Yeah, no, lie. All right, who cares, right? This is what matters. Oh, this is a messy thing. <laughs> Here we go. Good! Mm. Loose meat. Roseanne, thank you for the recipe. She didn't really give it to us. Where's the number anymore? Making sure it ain't burnt. You make that burnt. Get in there! <laughs> How was it, Doug? Damn good. <laughs> Thank you, Roseanne! I gotta give it to you, Dad. You made another successful dish. Thank you, Roseanne! Maybe Dad does know how to cook. Thank you. Roseanne gave me the recipe. No, she didn't. Google she did! It's fictional. He just can't cook on the grill. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he, said, he said you can't cook on the grill. Get him out! <laughs> You go with him. What? What? Everybody out. I loved it though. It's good. Everybody out. Okay, he bro. He said he can't cook on the grill. Well, that was the uh, loose meat. What are you doing? Go. Oh my god. Why do I gotta go? What did we do? Get. 
Well, I showed you the other day how much fun it was making egg rolls and the candy bar rolls. They were awesome. They were really good. Today, we're going to do the same thing, so we're going to use taco. We're going to make some, 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 some egg roll tacos. That's a mouthful of stuff. So this is all your ingredients? I, I guess so. We got, we got the taco meat. We got the refried beans, sour cream, cheese, uh, a little, little bit of green pepper, and we got the egg roll wrap. Okay. Got to have the egg roll wrap. But anyway, we... We're gonna put that in there first. So these are kind of like egg roll tacos. Yeah, that's what I said it was gonna be egg roll tacos. Okay, you don't get so mean. We put a little bit of refried beans on that sucker. A little bit of the meat. Sounds like a cheese stick. Well, how the hell do you open a cheese stick? Green pepper. Can I open anything right? No, it doesn't seem like it. A little bit of green pepper. Oh, 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 almost forgot. A little bit of sour cream. Alright. And it rolls up just like a Dorito. Will it egg roll? That's the question. But a little bit of an egg roll. That's the, you're right, that is the question. What? Huh? What happened? Oh, I'm just watching. <laughs> So what do you think the answer is? You think it's gonna egg roll? We will find out. If this works out, I am gonna be surprised. See, Grandpa's gonna start teaching y'all how to put that camera here, will you? Grandpa's gonna start teaching y'all to do other stuff with other stuff, because everybody knows egg rolls, wraps, egg rolls. Well, you gotta think out the box. Look at this, sir. Will you mind throwing the camera thing? Okay, Dad. Here we go. Oh, oh my god. That looks great. Taco egg roll. Let me zoom in on this thing. It's, blur it's blurry for some reason, Dad. Hold on. Pop it up heat. Alright, folks, here we go. I'm gonna try this. <laughs> it's hot. Mm. It looks good. It is. Oh my god. Oh man. That is great. Mmm. Wow. Oh my god. The egg roll taco. That is delicious, Dad. That's the best they have been. Guys, I'm telling you. I don't know what I expected, but that is. Oh man. Ah! ah! You're, you're right. That is the best thing you've made in a long time, Dad. It really is. Ah! It's worth the burn. Mm. I gotta give it to you, Dad. Shake your hand. Good job. I know I did it. That's awesome. But look at that, I made, I made all the stuff. I made the bowl. It was so good, I made it for the boys stuff. So guys, awesome. to recap that recipe, this is taco meat, refried beans, sour cream, and some cheddar cheese, deep fried. And you get this. And deep fried egg roll wrap. Right, deep fried and egg roll wrap. Excuse me. And you get this. Woo! Damn. You just gonna throw it on the counter like that? Yeah. I'll take one for the team and burn the hell out of myself. Well, that's what I was telling before. Oh. <laughs> you are a rotten, rotten bastard. What are you guys doing on the counter for? That's going to be it for today, you guys. Bye. See y'all in the next. Remember, and Grandpa Show. What are you cooking next? Grandpa's Corner. We're cooking next. What are we cooking next? We're cooking something. Is that Tony Oh my god. A long time ago when the earth was green, there were more unicorns than you'd ever seen. Hey, happy St. Patty's Day! If you're Irish, kiss the goddamn Blarney Stone. And if you ain't Irish, wear the green anyway! Show respect! Today, cooking with Grandpa. Most people on St. Patty's Day 
they partake in corned beef brisket. But I'm gonna do it with kabaj, red taters, and carrots. Yeah, what's up, Doc? You know, it's been a long time tradition on St. Patty's Day to eat this food. So, a lot of you don't know how to make it. Well, I don't either, but I'm gonna learn. Oh, God. I ain't gonna lie, it smells revolting. God, I'm getting it everywhere. Fuck. Damn it, get out of there! Oh, God. I put a little grease in the pan. Why? Because I like to fry my just... I like to fry my just a minute or two. Sizzle in the pan! There's corned beef brisket in hand. Anyway, let's sit in, you kind of let it simmer, you know, do its thing. It's a thing. Can you get out of my way? You know, they say carrots are good for your eyes, and why I wear fucking glasses? You take a high road, and I'll take a low road. And I'll be in Ireland before you. Wait, a minute, wrong song. Wrong words anyway. And you take your red potatoes. I just cut them in half. Well, goddamn. Where'd it go? What'd you get out of the way? I see it. A little bit of salt on everything. If you don't do what I'm doing, you won't be able to eat this shit. It'll be so tough if you're like trying to shoot through your grandma's shoes. Okay. Then you take the scene and they give you. Didn't say Pat, is he the one that ran all the snakes out of Ireland? You fucked up the ecosystem! No wonder y'all had a goddamn potato war. Did y'all fight over the red potatoes? Alright, now it's gonna cook for like about an hour, hour and a half. And then when we come back, sing to me glory, we're gonna add the taters and the cabbage and the carrots and about an hour later we'll eat. This shit been cooking two and a half hours. And it's just now starting to get. I got that! That's corned beef. Now, got another hour to cook. You put your taters in. God, God damn it, get in there. Last but not least. Your cabbage. Let it cook for another hour, hour and a half, until tender. Just let them shut. Damn thing. Man. Talk to y'all in about an hour, right? Ah! Three and a half hours later. You know, hell. Three hours later. Let's find out. Anybody who tried it with me. Look at that.
Let me see the stringy. It's like eating a rubber band. I drink beer too. Bye. Have a day, bad day. Bye. <laughs> Turn it off, man. A poor thing for another flower. Now we're gonna put in some Italian seasoning. Italian, yeah, I know. Italian. We are gonna put in some garlic powder. As we have one half a minute. We are gonna put in a little basil. A little thyme. You got time? Well, I got a little time. And that's ground cumin, which I don't use. Gotta add a little paprika. Oh. Can't forget the oregano. Gotta have a little oregano in there. A little pepper. Now I think by this point, what dad's really doing is like, he's just emptying out his cabinets. Hang on y'all, let me find salt. Like that, he's just grabbing anything he can and he's gonna dump it in. A little salt. I said a little, a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. Cause you want a little bit of heat. If you can get the damn thing off. So now we can put the lid on it. And mix it up. All right, it's all mixed in there now, see? Now, let's see how the grease is coming. A little bit, Tony. Hey, Chick-fil-A. Well, I cut the chicken up into pieces, and it's been soaked for 24 hours. What's in it? And a salt, it's a salt brine with pickle and pickle juice, and it's been soaking for 24 hours. But that's gonna come after we're done with this. There's a chicken dead grandpa's out. Five o'clock, clock, 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 clock. Fuck you. Oh. Oh, we're gonna start frying up some chicken. We're gonna start with the bread. And as y'all know, I salt and pepper them too before I do this. So we're gonna let that cook now. I'm gonna wash my hands. Lauren, you wanna let my fingers? Mm -mm. I'll lick your fingers. I wouldn't let you if they had stuff all over them. I would lick your fingers. I would. If I had raw chicken on my fingers, I would not let you. Why? Because that's bad for you. Why? Who says? I says. You don't know what. Well, that's debatable. I'm going to tongue you. <laughs> so we're going to let the chicken fry up. When I get ready to take it out, I'll be back. Kill. All right, young man. Over here. How about some fried chicken? Mashed potatoes and gravy! I ain't got no mashed potatoes and gravy, you ain't getting none. And over here, as you see, that's, that's, that, 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 that's, that's good shit. That's what we made by the making it for soaking in pickle juice and a, and a, and a salt water brine. Flour down real good and fry them up! When you fry them up, you eat them up. God damn. Good eating kids. Remember these recipes now. Don't forget them. I'll be back when Mike has his taste. Bye. Hang down there. All right, Grandpa made chicken sandwiches. Here it like is. Chick -fil -A. I got lettuce, tomato, pickle, bun. Uh, I don't eat that version of honey mustard, so I'm just going to go with this. Is that pickle? I do. Let's look at that pickle and salt brine all night. Mm-hmm. Draw the flavor of the pickle. So, chicken sandwiches, folks. Remember, keep up my recipes. You're gonna need them one day. What are you making that for? I want to turn it. Well, turn it anyway. Hey, at least you heard it here first, all right? Well, I heard it over there last week. And in my house. Well, I won't mention it again. It's good. Thank you. Chicken sandwiches, folks. And fried chicken. You got a closing? I did.
get my red page! I'm saying, you know, like a like, subscribe, whatever. Like, subscribe, favorite, favorite. It falls on everything. I covered it all. <laughs> and now it's over. You can cover the lens. Bye, young man. Hang on, I ain't focused. All right. Youngins, it's me. It's me. It's Chef AGP. Chef Boy RD. I'm the chef. You know, how many times have you been to a, 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 a a pizza place and you say, oh man, I like tacos, I like pizza. Let's get a taco pizza today. So you order the taco pizza, you know, and you're waiting patiently and you're expecting a pizza that look and taste like a taco. Not mine! And I want one. I want one so bad! I want a real taco pizza! And the only way I'm gonna get it is to make it myself. I done got the burger cooked. Cooking. This is stuff I normally don't do. I always have it ready. Ground beef? That's all. I'm just it's letting you know what it is. It's ground beef. And I use El Paso. You know, I always do this, but I always have it made up before y'all get a chance to. And damn. I need a knife. Now that's a knife. Okay, so I'm going to mix one pack to start with. See, that is like what you get on tacos. We got the taco shell. I am going to take some refried beans and I'm going to heat them suckers for three minutes. I got some paste for Conte Spa sauce. I'm just tired of going and getting and getting it, and it don't taste nothing like a taco. Yeah, you no good. I'm gonna want it anyway. So I got my my beans all hooked up, and we're gonna spread it on the pizza, just like you would regular marinara sauce, marinara, whatever you call it. Oh no. Once again, pretty thick. Cause nothing gives me worse than to buy enough pizza and ain't no damn meat on it. Then we put this sharp cheddar cheese on top of all that mixture. And I'm gonna put my onion right here on top of this. Reason being, I want that onion flavor to cook down into the meat. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take the bell pepper, which I've shredded up too. By the way, I am working on my cookbook. Should have it ready here probably next month. Then I gotta find somebody to publish it. So, hopefully, that won't take long. Mmm. That is so good. And what do, you, what do you have the oven set on? 350. Until everything comes to about 10 minutes. Okay. In the meantime, you got this left over. I love refried beans. Well, damn! Just drop it. <laughs> I will. All we're waiting for now is for that to cook. Take it out, and it's ready. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that, man. Man, that looks good. Taco pizza, but what are we gonna do now? Wait, we're gonna put in the pepperoni now for the boys. Them boys may not do nothing else, but they eat good. Okay, we got that done. Next step, lettuce. You know, your taco, all tacos have lettuce. And they also have tomato. And there you have it. Taco pizza. What do y'all think? Just watch this now. Go real hot, you came out of the oven. What does that mean? It's hot, I can't talk. <laughs> no shit. But that is a taco pizza. It's good. And it's good. Okay, youngins. That taco pizza was awesome. That's all that's left. Golly. 
That's all that's left of taco. Now we're pulling out the pepperoni. Oh my god, look at that. That is a pepperoni pizza. That's not the journal. I baked it. Ah, da, da. Ooh. I ain't lying, that's hot. When you do it yourself, it tastes, it looks better, it tastes better. Now that's a pepperoni pizza. Look at that. Ah. Oh, go on. Mmm. Cook. It's fun. Involve your kids. They like to cook. It's a family thing. You can do it. Grandpa. Say Mickey Pizza, enjoy your food. I love you. Don't forget, check all our channels out. See you on the next Cook with Grandpa. Or Grandpa Corner. Or well, whatever. Bye. Tell them bye, Laura. Bye. Bye. Grandpa here. Well, you know, I ain't today is a lousy damn day. Post the rain, we got these storms around. Uh, so what do you do? You sit around and watch TV? Nah. So what are we gonna do? We gonna bake with Grandpa! Ha ha ha! Hell yeah! You know, it's been a while since we did a cooking with Grandpa. You know, it's been a while. Okay. First things first. According to the book, it's gonna take three eggs. This is a whole lot better than the soap show you used to do. We got a whole new sitting now. One egg. Two eggs. Three eggs. Put the old cigarette down, pull the old britches up. Get out of the old fork. Oh shit, got a damn hole there, man. Last thing I need is a hole. Now it calls for a cup. A cup of Cairo Light White. One cup. Scrape it out real good. Not nice, sweet syrup. Oh shit, I'm done with this. We need two. So we need two of these. So we know two bottles is two cups. Half a bottle is a cup. You mix all your egg in there, you gotta get three more eggs in there. One. Two. Three. All right, that's six eggs. Look at that one, that's real good. We are on the makings of a fine pecan pie. Now, it says three quarters of a cup of sugar. Half, half. So that would mean where the hell my goddamn sugar? I went crazy with the sugar. That's the sugar. Boy, look at that, that can be some sweet goddamn pie. I need to stop by there somewhere and buy me a mixer. If I can get it in the rain. Okay, let's see. Now I call one tablespoon. What the fuck? One tablespoon of uh, spinella. Y'all know I ain't too exact with measurements, I mean. Never have been, never will be. Now you mix the vanilla in there. Fuck. One egg 
keep it salt up, sugar. I ain't quite figured that one out yet. Now, a quarter cup of butter. A third is a half. Not much butter. You guys realize that in about 14 days, old grandpa will be 65 years old. But I'm getting old. A lot of young don't send me cards and shit, boy, and I appreciate it. I tell you, I, does my heart good when I get presents and goddamn cards from you youngins. But there again, who doesn't like getting presents? And now we need, we need a cup of pecans. A cup. That's one, and I can tell you we're done with this dough, so. Hey, we'll hit one. Ah, oh, fuck. Do I want deep dish or not? Let me see. Where is my goddamn pie crust? Oh, right, right there in front of me. I didn't even see him. Then you want to fill this pie crust with this pecan mixture. And it is a mixture, folks. Trust me. They go straight to the oven. You going to see that? And you set that oven on one hour, an hour you check it. If it's good and brown, it's done. If it ain't, leave it in there until it gets turned good and brown. So that's pecan pie. And we'll check it out again after it's done. So, youngest, I'll see y'all real soon for AGP's pecan pie. All right. Grandpa, check him out in the oven. Check that out, youngest. Look, get a, get a close look at that, Jen. Nice, I got, I got two nice pecan pies. That's what it looks like when it's cut. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Go, Marty! Man! That is so damn good. Grandpa makes the best pecan pie. In the world! Mmm. Ow, hot, goddamn. Anyway, that's the game live. You want the directions? Watch the video. All of that, I love you, Alan. Now, as y'all see, come here, come here, come here. Summer night! Big old pot of chili. Look at that, man. Cause Jen's here and her kids, and Michael and Bridget will be here. And with all this rain, they can eat. So the chili's cooking. Got them by done. And for a little clue, getting ready to make some Brownies, but a special way, ATP way. And some banana nut bread. So, see you on the next one. It'll be a story. Bye!